Hello everybody, my name is Katie, welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some hardbacks of some series that I would like to reread, all of a mixture of reasons as I talk about them I'll let you know the reason why I would like to reread these certain book series. So these are going to be in several parts, I've already filmed and uploaded for you my standalone paperbacks that I would like to reread as well as my hardback standalones that I would like to reread and today like I say it's going to be the hardback series that I would like to reread. So these are going to be in no particular order and first of all the series I'm going to start with is one of my favourite series of all time and that is this series right here which starts with Obsidian. This is the Lux series by Jennifer R. Armantrout. I have read all of the books in this series. I'm completely up to date but it's been years since I read them. I love them. I obsessed over them. I just want to give them a reread. So it starts with this first book. I was gifted this first book actually. And thank goodness I was gifted it. I was completely obsessed. And yeah, loved and devoured this book. And then we get like the second book, which is Onyx. And again, they're brilliant. They're brilliant book series. They're literally just about this like this human girl and this alien that arrives and there's a family of aliens. And then we got book three, which is Opal. <laughs> book four which is origin and then finally we have got the final book which is opposition and um this also has a little bonus prequel inside of the series oh man just it's a awesome series and i obsessed over it and also the main girl character is called katie so you know what can i say next of all i've got here two books they're in a duology first of all we've got pivot point and the second one we've got split second these are both by case to west these are her young adult novels that are like sci-fi so in pivot point we literally have this girl and she sees these two paths of like you know if she goes and lives with her mom or if she goes and lives with her dad so she sees like what would happen if this path would happen so she gets to see choices and that's like her ability and then in split second we have a side character this space one but i don't remember too much about this second book but pivot point i just want to reread because i absolutely love the first book the split second i loved the second book but i also would like to reread it just so that i can remember things another book that i would like to reread is a replica by lauren oliver i really enjoy this because we've got lyra and then we've got Gemma, and they have two sides and they meet in the middle it's like brilliant so you sort of like start off by reading one way and then you flip it and then you read the other way and i did do a video review on this and like i've even got like some notes here so this is brilliant i've got some notes on it on like the main things that happen um but i just want to give it a reread um just to like remember everything about this book and dive into it again because i really really enjoyed this book next all i have deep blue by jennifer Donelli. this is the first book that's in the waterfire saga series i really enjoyed like reading this first book but i don't remember too much of what happened so that's one reason why i just want to give it a reread and then i can go on to reading the other books that are in this series so next of all here i have after you by jojo Moyes, and this is in the series um that is literally by this author and this is the sequel to Me Before You. So Me Before You, I know what happened and I loved it. I loved the movie to it. So this is a sequel and I just want to go on to this and like carry on with it. And because I don't really remember too much um, about this book. And like, yeah, I just want to reread it. Um, I know that there's like a third book that I've got and yeah that's another reason why i want to reread this to remember things that happened in this and then to go on to the next book next of all i have wake by amanda hocking this is the first book that is in the water song series i loved this first book it's on my maids and oh it's such a good book but i read it like literally the beginning of my booktube journey that's how long it's been um so that we're talking like what 2013 here um so that's seven years ago and i loved it and I just want to give it a reread so that I can continue on with this series. Next of all, I have Tempest by Julie Cross. This is a time travel novel 
again I read this like a fair few years ago but I don't really remember too much about what happened in this book so that is another reason why this is on my reread list. Then we have Teardrop by Lauren Kate. I first read this as a manuscript that I got from the publisher and then they sent me the finished copy of the book. I haven't actually read the finished copy version yet but I just want to give this a reread and then go on to the sequel to this. This is literally about this girl and she has um she has this thing about tears and yeah it's uh yeah it's crazy and yeah i just want to give it another reread i just remember loving the first book next all here i have flawed by cecilia hearn i absolutely love this first book this is a like sort of like dystopian novel i believe and um she i literally just don't remember too much about this but i know that there's this this whole system of like being branded as flawed um oh yeah i just i can't remember too much about it but i just remember absolutely love this book it's a brilliant brilliant concept i've got the sequel to this so i just want to reread it love it again and then go on to the sequel next one i have here across the universe by beth revis so since i've read it i've got the hardback copy of this which is like is i mean i love my hardbacks and oh man so this is about amy i think amy is like frozen or put in a pod or something and then like in the in like um she is then uh, taken out of it or something like i can't remember too much it's been so many years but this again was another book at the start of my youtube journey so yeah i i mean i loved it when i first read it and it's a sci-fi book as well so i look forward to rereading this again and then continuing on with the series because i do own the second and the third book in this next all i have these broken stars by amy kaufman and megan spooner i really really enjoyed this i know this is um well pitched to be like titanic in space i but i don't remember too much about this i just remember really really enjoying it um when i read it a few years ago so i just want to give it a reread because i've got like the sequel to this and i think i've even got the third book and i just want to reread it again so i can continue on with the series as well but it's such a gorgeous cover guys i mean look at that i've got the house of night series and i'm actually currently rereading this at the moment so the next book in this series is hunted and this is the fifth book in the series and i'm just slowly continuing on with this and i believe there was one more book after this that i did read and then I'm on to the books that I haven't read yet. So there's Hunted and I think Burned is the one after this that I also read that will need to be reread. So I've got Hunted here in my hands. And then also I've got here the Fledgling Handbook um, by PC and Christine Cast as well. But this is by PC Cast and, and Kim Dona or Dona. And this is a sort of side book to go along with the house of night series and i have not read this in years so i thought well it'd be good to reread even the fledgling handbook to go along with the series loving rereading the series at the moment so i am looking forward to continuing on with this next of all i've got withering at heights by louise renison this is the first book that's in the misadventures of Tulula casey series and this is the spin-off from the other series by Lewis Medicine, which is the Angus Thongs for Fantas Noggin. I think this is like, um, I think Tanula is like the cousin. She's some sort of relation to the girl from the other series by Lewis Medicine, from what I believe. I don't really remember too much about this, but I know that Tanula Casey is meant to be um, some sort of like comedian net. She wants to be like someone that's very, very funny. Um, so, yeah. I uh, yeah, I want to give this a reread to go into this and then read the other books in that series. Next of all, I have Altered by Jennifer Rush. I loved this book. This is a sort of like sci-fi book that is about these guys that were altered, They're like completely like altered to be like better in this lab, and yeah, I just remember absolutely loving it so there's a sequel to this i think i've got the sequel i'm not entirely sure um but i just want to give it a reread it was such a good first book first of all we have the unbecoming of my trilogy right here 
sounded like. This is the order. First book is The Armor Coming of Mara Dyer, the all by Michelle Hodkin. The second book is The Evolution of Mara Dyer, and the third book is The Retribution of Mara Dyer. So, I want to reread the trilogy. I absolutely loved the whole trilogy in general, and I remember getting The Retribution of Mara Dyer before release, and I literally fangirled. There's a video on my Instagram of it if you want to see it. Um, and this is a book that's about Mara Dyer and she's a very mysterious character and these books are very sort of like creepy and chilling but they've got a bit of romance in it as well um, I really want to reread these very soon actually um, I just I loved them the first time around and um, oh man just I just want to reread these very very soon like these were just such good books. Next all I have Not A Drop To Drink by Mindy McGuinness. This is the first book This in this um, sort of dystopian like series that is a true about water and the water is really really rare and they literally protect this pond and I think it's brilliant. I think it's a brilliant brilliant story, a brilliant concept. It's like post apocalyptic and it's about survival. It's very very heavy focused on um, sort of like character development which is another reason why I, I really really enjoyed it. I've got the sequel to this as well, but I just want to give this a reread so that I can dive into the sequel. I've got Alienated by Melissa Landers. I loved this book, again, about a human and an alien and them having this conversation. And I just remember really, really enjoying it. So, I really, I just really, really enjoyed it. And I just, I can't remember, anything other than that that happened in this book and I just want to give it a reread just so I can remember everything that happened and then go on to the sequel which I believe I've got I think it's called Invaded if I remember. Next of all I have the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick. I have read the first two books or first three books in this series I can't remember. I have reread this book in particular about three or four times. It's the true about fallen angels and I love it so much and it's literally about Nora and the Fallen Angels called Patch and he's mysterious and she can't help but be like really attracted to him and it's just one of those sort of like paranormal romances that were just brilliant in the old tea times but oh my god I just I just I just find them addictive and I just want to give the whole series again a reread I've never actually finished it I have the finished book syndrome where I just don't get around to finishing books in series but I just want to start from the beginning, reread it all over again and hope to finish this series. So I have Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. So I recently reread Anna and the French Kiss, which I think I reread last year if I remember. So Lola and the Boy Next Door is the next one in the series and I remember enjoying this one just as much and again gave it five out of five Kit Kats but I don't remember too much about this book which is why this is on the list. So. I just want to give this a reread and then I can finally go on to finishing this trilogy. Next of all I have Fated by Alison Noah. This is the first book that's in the Soul Seeker series. I've got quite a few books that are in this series. So my battery died and I was talking about Fated by Alison Noel. So this is the first book like I say. I remember giving it 3 out of 5 Kit Kats at the time, beginning my booktube journey. So it's been so long since then I just want to see if I can Reread it and see if my opinion changes on it. Maybe I can get into it better. And um, hopefully I can enjoy it a lot more. And then finally, among the hardback series, I've got the Geek Girl series by Holly Smell. And actually I'm going to cheat with this one because I'm going to also include the first two books, which are the paperbacks. So I've got the first two books in this series, Geek Girl and Model Misfit, and then the third book, which is Picture Perfect. I just need to reread this whole series in general, but because they're mixed match and I've got paperback and hardback of the series, that's why I'm going to include it in this one because this is the last of my hardbacks now. This is a brilliant, brilliant series that is about this girl who's geeky, she's got Harriet Manners, she's so funny, she's hilarious, so I just want to reread it so that I can get back into it she's a geeky girl that ends up becoming like a model and it's so so funny i absolutely loved it holly smell is a brilliant brilliant author and um i just want to reread it just for the you know fact that it was my favorite book series 
and then I can actually complete this series because I still haven't completed it yet. I had like one book left in the series before I needed to complete it or two books left, I can't remember. But I just want to reread these three books and then get back into the series again and then hopefully finish it. So it's a brilliant series as well, so just rereading it for the fact that it was my favourite book series but also I'm um, rereading it because I wanted to refresh my memory on all these books. So there you have it guys that is the end of this video if you have read any of these books I've mentioned in today's video do let me know down below in the comments and also if there's a particular book series you would like to see me read again let me know or if, you know I can vlog it as I'm reading it that sort of thing and um, yeah I'm very very excited about these books if you've read any of these books then do let me know as well let me know what you're currently reading let me know what you've recently purchased let me know what you've been up to lately leave me a comment down below I just love making friends here on booktube I love talking about books in general but yeah all of my social media links as always are linked down below in the description if you'd like to follow me as well I've got twitter I've got instagram I've got goodreads and all that sort of stuff but that's it from me guys keep smiling keep reading be happy and most importantly stay safe my name is katie and i'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye